it's time for Talking She. Hello, good Saturday morning to you. Actually, Saturday night, uh, Sunday morning, I apologize, 9 19, 2015. I wanted to talk a little bit about Julian Assange. I watched him on C SPAN, um, the guy who ran WikiLeaks, who is basically in exile or you know, hiding in the Ecuador uh, embassy uh, for uh, in London uh, because uh, he basically is being you know treated much like Edward Snowden. Uh, these men are whistleblowers to the constant need for the ICC to investigate America's behavior in regards to certain things tactically and realistically that have to do with something more important than Donald Trump talking his hot air balloon bullshit. Uh, the U.S. government, along with people like Dick Cheney, have been uh, operating uh, basically insanely when it comes to uh, crimes against humanity and a lot of this warmongering insanity. And uh, it's just sad that people like Julian Assange and uh, Edward Snowden and several other uh, people are being held uh, in captivity based on their ability to practice the kind of honesty that it takes to use integrity uh, to run uh, humanity. And it's uh, insanity to have these people sort of running and hiding and dividing it up and making it fucked up for them to be able to tell us the truth about what's under the roof of the automobile of uh, America's will, so to speak. Metaphorically, this country is tied up in a lot of bullshit that creates harm, dissension, and just a lot of shit that they don't mention. And I believe that we at uh, Black Man with Hands Production, uh, along with our, you know, uh, satellite program, Talking Shit, uh, are, we think that these concerns from Julian Assange are legit. I mean, uh, why aren't we a part of the ICC? Why aren't we constantly on a daily basis telling Israel to leave the Gaza people alone and stay out of the Gaza Strip and leave the Palestinians alone and stay out of the Palestinian business? and be more cooperative with food and medicine getting into that region. Why aren't we talking enough shit about the behavior of the Israeli government and the fucking money? We give them the fucking money. We give them the fucking money. We give them the fucking money. And then I hear we're loaning them the money. And then I hear that it's illegal for us to give people funding in regards to crimes against humanity, that there's treaty and things that are set up internationally, legally, that forbids us as a nation to have this sort of warmongering creation as, as a business. And the idea that uh, now people like Bill Crystal and Ann Coulter and, you know, uh, Rush Limbaugh, Scrotum Man, uh, these people are talking about we didn't have an overall plan in the beginning of, of this quicksand, the morass, the morass and the erosion of these uh, uh, these cultures and institution and country over there, that we didn't have a part in that, that we are somehow, uh, you know, all of this is sort of easy wheezy lemon squeezy to understand. When the truth of the matter is our undermining greedy gimme tactics tied in with the big banks and the big tanks and the big uh, small little penis ways of, uh, of these men and the way they think with this warmongering has created this sort of flood of people who just want to be free, who just want not to have bombs flying all over the fucking place. And Israel is the gas station attendant of America's bullshit in that region. Let me repeat that. Israel is the gas station attendant of America's bullshit in that region. And I believe that uh, Julian Assange and, 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 and Edward Snowden and, and a lot of these people who are considered traitors should be swapped in regards to, you know, handing over Dick Cheney's war criminal motherfucking ass walking around this country telling people, giving advice about bullshit that has exploded in our face. Dick Cheney is a lying ass son of a bitch dick face. And to then have Dick Cheney going on TV writing this book with his lesbian daughter and all this bullshit starter crap he pulls. Dick Cheney is out of his fucking mind. 
Who the fuck is sitting around listening to Dick Cheney? The people that don't want us to be a part of the ICC. The people that are telling us that we got to ban the Hispanic community from our country. The people that are in fear of uh, helping people internationally for real and not just for oil and for some sneak, uh, sneaky bank money deal. Now, who the fuck is listening to Dick Cheney? Who the hell is listening to Dick Cheney? Fox News? Who the fuck listens to Dick Cheney? Who the fuck listens to Dick Cheney? Who the hell listens to Dick Cheney? The people that don't want Edward Snowden and uh, uh, Julian Assange to have nothing to say. If you want to listen to Dick Cheney, turn him over to the fucking ICC. That son of a bitch will sing like a bird. But right now, all of his advice, wording, and talk patterns are a big turd. He is an asshole. And he and Donald Trump can go and have group sex with uh, Dennis Rodman and create uh, a more bullshit for this country uh, like they did with this war. And, 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 and this shit that, Obama, you know, Barack Obama, he's in on it too. A lot of this stuff is just he's been scared. You know, they, they, every time he get ready to tell the truth, they probably tell everybody he's a Muslim. <laughs> so that's all the time we have. <laughs> that's all the time we have now for talking shit. I'm DeAndre. Fuck Fox News. Fuck Donald Trump. Fuck the GOP. Fuck the RNC. Fuck the NRA. Fuck everybody that doesn't have the right to tell us what to do and say. You know, uh, he, 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 and they try to exhibit that anyway. I can't wait till this fucking election is over. My God. Um, what did I say? Oh, yeah, fuck Fox News. <laughs>